looks like that one coin collector has decided to challenge me to a one box penny challenge. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and that's right. That one coin collector reached out to me via email and said, Rob, I wanna pit one of my Arizona boxes against one of your Texas boxes. And I was like, let's go. Now, we had some rules ahead of time. We'll use my regular scoring sheet. We both had to make sure we had circulated boxes, which he did. I have not reopened it since he sent it to me, so it's sealed up. He does have a little prize giveaway for you guys. He said that if his box wins, he's giving away a 30 gram silver panda. And if my box wins, you get a half ounce silver generic round. Very kind of you, that one coin collector. I see what you're doing here. Let's get my viewers to support you. Just kidding, it's all good, brother. I think it's awesome that you're giving away silver anyway, and you sent me a box to hunt from Arizona. On top of that, guys, I wanna congratulate that one coin collector. He recently hit 500 subscribers, so if you could, go over to his channel, give him a subscription, check out some videos, and you'll wanna stay tuned to claim whatever prize we find in this video. I do wanna point out that the link to that one coin collector's channel will be found below in the video description as well as in my first pinned comment. All right, I think we've covered that. Let's go ahead and crack open or reopen this box from him. I don't know if I can do it with my lucky screwdriver. Yep, I think I can. Let's go and let's see what we got here. Definitely, definitely, oh, we got a Canadian ender right off the bat. Okay, I got you. And I've already checked my box. It is circulated and I didn't see any fancy schmancy enders in mine. As always, we'll kick it off with the Challenger box to see how it does. So, I'll get started on this hunt, and as always, I'll loop you in with my first find. We're on roll two. So far, we found a 1969 in the first roll, S, not the DDO, of course. But we have a Canadian Ender that you saw in the setup of the video, so I wanted to show you that. Looks like it's gonna be 1964, so it'll be a young head. Nice. Same roll as the 64 young head that we found as an ender, and we've got our first wheat penny of the box. Looks like it's a 1955 out of Denver. Confirmed. 55D on the board, first wheat cent. Roll number seven, and we're gonna find a dime in the roll. Won't count as points, but we will make a few cents for sure. 1994. Roll number nine, and we're gonna have our second wheat scent of the box. I saw it peeking out. 1953, is that an S? It is. Being from Arizona, I guess we'll see some S mints. That'd be nice. I haven't seen a lot so far, but we found one on a wheat scent. Roll number 11 is gonna yield wheat scent number three. And this one's a 57. Denver. So three in the 50 so far, but three after 11 rolls. Roll number 18, and that one coin collector is going to get a second foreign. It's another Canadian, and oh, it's one of those Centennial ones, I believe. Yep, one of the commemoratives. We'll put it over here. Two foreigns in the box, still on three wheat pennies. Roll number 24. And we're going to have the fourth wheat penny of the box. And it's a little bit older. 1948. I believe 48 could be 45. It is 48. And it is a 48S. And I could be wrong. Thought I saw another wheat penny and I did. And that's a 54D. Roll 26. Wheat set number 6. 1946, oldest of the box. Roll 27, and I think we're gonna start running into some more wheat scents because we've got another one right here, which is a 1944D. And when I flattened them out, I caught a peak of another 44 back here. And that's a 44P. Now there's eight wheat scents in 27 rolls, unless I find another one in this roll. Roll number 30 of that one coin collector's box, and he's gonna have his ninth wheat scent already. It's a 1951 Denver. 
Roll 32. Wheat penny number 10. 1940. You know, the good news is it feels like they're getting older as well. I know we found that 51 recently, but a lot more 40s lately. Maybe we can get something in the 30s or 20s. Roll 39 is going to give us two wheat pennies because I see them both. A 56 and an unknown. So, like I said, the very first one, 56 out of Philly. And the second one for number 12 of the box is a 57 Denver. Roll 48 and a second dime in the box. That is crazy. Nineteen ninety six Denver making that Monet. Let's get back to the hunt. Roll forty nine, another Canadian penny. Nineteen eighty this time. Third one of the box. So we finished that box of pennies from that one coin collector in Arizona. We ended up with twelve wheat cents, seven from the fifties, five from the forties. The oldest find of the box was a nineteen forty. So no pre thirties. Wheat pennies or pre-40s wheat pennies whatsoever. We also found a couple of dimes. They won't score any points, but we made 18 cents on those. Three foreigns, 159. One nice penny here, a 74 in really great shape. And two 69 S's. I thought maybe we'd see more than just two in the box, being that he's in Arizona, but that's it. And honestly, really no 73 or 74 S's whatsoever. We did have a handful of 70, 71, and 72 S's. But uh, nothing to talk about, really. They're in pretty toasty shape. Is it enough to guarantee one lucky subscriber to that one coin collector's channel a chance at a 30-gram silver panda? We'll have to see. Or my RFT box, block it, win the round, and only give out a half-ounce silver round. Who knows? Well, we'll know once I start hunting. So, let's start hunting. Roll number three of the RFT box, and we're finally gonna get our first wheat penny. I say finally, we're the third roll in. I'll take it. And this one's gonna be a 44 on the nose. First wheat penny in the box, let's go. Very next roll. Just started getting into the roll, and there's another wheat penny face in reverse. And I think it's a 45 this time. It is 1945. Philadelphia. Two Philadelphia wheat pennies in a row, pretty close to each other. Hopefully there's some more in that roll and lots more in that box. Roll number nine. We're going to have our third wheat penny, and I already saw it. It was facing me. A 1942 out of Denver. So three 40s wheat pennies so far in the box. Roll number 12. We're going to get our first Canadian on the board with the side find. 1989. Roll number 17, and we're going to have our fourth wheat cent of the box. It's got some dirt on the back. We'll see if that means it's old. It doesn't mean it's old. I think I saw 58. 58D, newest of the box, last year wheat cent, but gets us up to four now, so we're headed in the right direction. Roll 21, wheat cent number five. Pretty nice detail on the back, probably in the 50s. And it is 57D. We'll take it, though. Roll 23. Wheat set number 6. 1947. Denver. Roll 26. Wheat set number 7. Just missed the pre-40s. This is a 1940 Denver. Roll 30. Wheat set number 8. 1945 out of Denver. I believe we got a 45 Philly earlier. Now we got the Denver counterpart. Roll 34. Wheat scent number nine. Looks pretty damaged on the back. Hoping that means it's old. But it doesn't. It's just a 1951 out of Philly. Roll 37. Our second Canadian in the box. And this one is from 1991. Roll 44. Took us a while, but we have double-digit wheat cents. Number 10 right here, 1952 Denver. Roll 45, wheat cent number 11. Oh, and it's in front of a nice 1960 Denver. 
but not the small date over large date and not the D over D. Still, we'll add it to the nicer coins down here and check out this wheat penny, which is number 11. Nineteen twenty. Nineteen twenty. Philadelphia, I believe. Let's just double check. Yeah, nineteen twenty. Oldest of the box. That'll score some good points. And we have eleven wheat pennies now. Same roll. Another wheat cent, number twelve. And that one's a fifty two D. Roll forty seven. Wheat Penny, number 13. And that's a 53 Denver. Roll 48. Kind of a wheat scent uh, run here. Got another one. Pretty nice back. It's a 58 Philly. We'll just check it for any doubling. Since it is a 58 Philly. I don't see any. But I'll take it either way. And add it to the Collection. So we finished my RFT penny box and we pretty much matched penny for penny with that one coin collector. I did have one in the 20s, which will make up a few points. So that's good. We got a couple of foreigns. I think he got three. We only had 159, but we had three really nice older coins, a 59, a 60 Denver, a 60 Denver. I have the 64 Denver because it's a lot better than it looks, but I may or may not count it as Bonus points. I don't know. It's pretty nice though. It's hard to just omit it, but it does have kind of a sandblasted look a little bit about it. So I'm not so sure. I actually found a 69S finally. Not the DDO, but I found one. And then finally, a little side find here. This 1995, I was checking it for the double die obverse. And when I put it under the scope, I noticed a pretty nice die crack. It runs from the rim under the E and through Lincoln's hair and forehead. So I thought that was kind of cool. Pulled it aside. I won't count it as an error of variety. It doesn't uh, warrant that, but still a pretty cool find nonetheless. Now I guess the next trick is to log my points into the score sheet along with that one coin collectors, and we'll see who won. So I've got the stats plugged into the stat sheet and Rob finds treasure prevails. That one coin collector had 12 wheat pennies greater than 1940. One AU coin, three foreign coins, and three combined 59 and 69 S's, which gave him 24 points. I had one pre-30s Wheatie, 13 greater than 1940, four AU, one foreign, and two total 59 69 S's. Now, even if I took away one of the AU coins that I showed you in the wrap-up, that 64, minus a point and a half still puts me at 31, so it didn't matter either way. I still won the battle. I want to say thank you to that one coin collector for the challenge. Let's see who wins his giveaway. As a reminder, since I won, someone's going to win a half ounce silver round compliments of that one coin collector. Now remember, you'll need to subscribe to his channel in order to participate in the giveaway and leave a comment on that video right there, the Rob Finds Treasure Box Battle giveaway comment video. I will have both the link to his channel and to that video in my video description down below. But I also want to remind you guys, he recently hit 500 subs, so he also has another giveaway announcement going on. So actually, if you subscribe to him and leave a comment on that one and on this one, you have a chance at two different giveaways, which is really cool. Again, sorry you guys didn't get a chance at the 30 gram silver panda, but the RFT box was just too great. Hopefully you enjoyed this box battle with that one coin collector. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.